what's good guys what's good with y'all man welcome back to the channel if you're new around here make sure you hit that subscribe button if you aren't new make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified every time i post a video and guys today bro oh, had a long day at work um didn't get to even get to the game until like the fourth quarter with like six minutes so up until then i know nothing happened obviously i can look at the box score here and just look at the scores um, and look at, you know, the production from the team. But as for what happened, I have no idea. So we're going to watch the highlights. This is a little bit different than what I said is going to be happening in the future. But um, I think I'm still going to react if I'm not able to watch most of the game. So we're going to do old school way and react. Um, but I still want you guys to get down in the comment section and let me know what happened, bro. Anyways, make sure y'all hit the like button. Helps the channel out a ton. And I appreciate everybody watching the last video. It did a lot better than I thought. Um, so let's get into, I don't know, what I see and maybe my reasons as to why the Mavs lost. And honestly, the Mavs, bro, they should have won this game. The Pelicans don't have Brandon Ingram or Zion playing. And I think one other player, but I would have put money on the Mavs and I would have lost. So... Let's get into it here um, and see what went wrong. All right, guys, so I try to get the quality better. This is literally the best it gets, so we're hoping it changes throughout the game. All right, so here's Luka, man. The Mavs already down by five. JaVale's in. Nice oop. Oh, my gosh, he got up, bro. And tell me what you guys think about the Mavs starting um, offense here. As Luca misses and takes it all the way. No transition defense. Not a lot of Mavs highlights in this first quarter. This is probably the play of the game, Luca. And I think he tweaked his ankle there. Josh Green's in with Christian Wood. Oh my gosh. Go, <laughs> Luca's in transition. Christian Wood's running. Right by him. Not a charge. He'll take it. Just from watching these highlights, and Pelicans looking like they're going crazy. Christian Wood for three. I think he had over 20 points again. Witty, JaVale sets a screen. That's, that lob is literally almost always open, bro. Like, I feel like if you're Dinwiddie or Luka, you kind of have to bring out the center off that screen and roll. Like, you know, not as soon as JaVale sets the screen, you can't roll to the basket because then he's going to be able to have that good spacing between you and JaVale. But if you kind of go, you know, to the left, kind of like Dinwiddie did there, and uh, bring him out of the paint a little bit, that JaVale oop is open almost every time. Here's Dinwiddie. Foul and one. Let's go. Matt's coming back a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. There we go, here's Luca Javel off the screen again. Just gives him a little up fake. Gotcha. Here's Luca again. Maxi's getting some minutes and decides not to pass it to Maxi and just take it. It was wide open. Now the game is tied. Here we go. Third quarter starts. Then or uh, I haven't you know seen a lot of Finney Smith in these first couple games. It's really just been Dinwiddie, Christian Wood, and Luca. And the, looking at the box score, that's kind of what it looked like this game. Here's Luca. Yeah, Alvarado, you got no chance, buddy. Zero. Mavs up by four. I'm gonna come back. Here's Luca. Larry Nance Jr. guarding him. That's a mismatch every time. Mavs still fighting. This game is back and forth like crazy. Christian Wood with the post up. Easy. Mavs still down by four. Another ISO here. Whoo! That's tough. Gets it on the baseline, squares up. Now that's just tough to guard, bro. In front of the Pelicans bench, too. A lot of Mavs highlights here. Dinwiddie to the hoop, and we up by seven now. Like, what happened? Mavs defense was doing so well in the third quarter, and then fourth quarter, it's like they just collapsed. Dinwiddie's here dribbling with the ball. Larry Nance. Takes him, big body, we'll take it. Pelicans are just getting too many good looks, man. There's Luca driving, kicks it out to Maxi. I saw this one live, that's a bang. 
Still down. Mavs down by five, 33 seconds left in the game. Luka gives a nice little move here. Luka takes it down all the way. So if y'all see, Mavs were down by three. Um, before that, yeah, they before that they were down by three. They let the clock run. They got the stop on defense. Luka chooses not to go for a three. Goes for a layup. Four seconds left. Mavs down by one. Right here. Right? Mavs called timeout. So here we go. Luka gives a nice little move there. Gets open. But the level of difficulty, man. And I know, I know, I know Luka has made so many of those shots. But there has to be different type of plays Jason Kidd can draw up to make it a little bit better. You know, like we all know they think Luka's getting the ball. But I don't know. It's got to be something else because those fading three-point shots, I think that's the second one he's taken this season. And they're just tough to make. He, he can definitely make them. And he's made a shot like that, you know, maybe in the beginning of the fourth quarter or so. Y'all saw it. But uh, that's just a low percentage shot, man. So we'll go here. We'll look at the box score and see who gave us the production. Finney Smith has been looking like this for the past, you know, three games. Four points, 35 minutes. You know, this doesn't show defensive stats, so... I'm not sure how he played because I didn't watch the game. You know, you guys got to fill me in on that. Reggie and Penny Smith has looked, have looked the same. You know, a lot of minutes and not, not a lot of offensive production, but they are more defensive-minded players. So you're not going to see that on the stat sheet, like I said. McGee, 12 points, or 12 minutes, 8 points, 2 rebounds, 1 steal, 1 block. Uh, Dinwiddie, second highest scoring on the team. Uh, Avery, I just realized... Um, Tim Hardaway wasn't playing. I wonder what's wrong with him. Y'all feel me in what's wrong with Tim Hardaway. But Finney Smith, 8 for 15. Or I said Finney Smith. Dinwiddie, 8 for 15, 4 for 8 on 3, um, 5 assists, 2 rebounds, 24 points. Great game from him. Great game from Luka as well. Shot over 50%. Um, Three-point percentage is absolutely terrible. Oh, my gosh. And I'm telling you, it's those low-percentage shots. Ah. Uh, Eight rebounds, or 11 rebounds in total. Um, seven assists, two steals, one block. Only three turnovers. I'll take it. He's the only starter who had a plus, plus, minus. 37 points for him. Four players off the bench. Compazzo got 13 minutes, had three points, so he hit a three. Um, didn't get to see him play. Josh Green had a little bit of minutes, only had two points. Christian Wood off the bench, 23 points. And Maxi Kleba, seven points. We, as a team, only had 11 turnovers, so that's very good. Um, shot 50% from the field, 31% from three. Free throws were killer this game once again. Um, missing seven free throws is tough, and it comes from two from Luka, one from Dinwiddie, two from McGee, um, and yeah, Christian Wood, Luka, Dinwiddie. McGee. Uh, let's look at the rebounds. We beat them on rebounds. Had less turnovers. But y'all is if y'all look, they shot way better from the field. Almost 8% more than us. 44% from the three-point line. 14% more than us. They shot a little bit better free throws. We actually got to the line more than them, but we couldn't capitalize. So, um, but as you guys can see, their team, you know, we had the same amount of players on the bench. They're getting that production. Um, or they're getting, you know, a mix of everybody. Everybody's scoring. The, they're sharing the wealth. 15 points, 13, 13, 14, 22. Whereas as you look at us, it's really three players in double digits. That's it. So we really need other guys to step up, man. I don't know if, if um, Jason Kidd needs to. Sorry if y'all hear the AC. We need Jason Kidd to set up some plays. Um, and get the other guys rolling because this is just, it's, it's not going to cut it. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to cut it. Um, it's only the third game of the season, but uh, we really miss uh, THJ today. And uh, we got to do better because they didn't even have Zion or Brandon Ingram. And it's going to be tough to beat them because they do have depth, as y'all can see. Everybody showed up for them to play. Um, but anyways, y'all let me know what happened in the game since I wasn't able to watch everything. And the highlights are only like a little bit. 
of what actually goes on. Um, so let me know down in the comment section. Uh, we'll see who the Mavs play next. Um, I think they play, who do they play here? Mavs play Brooklyn on Thursday. So I will be back on Thursday. Hopefully the Mavs play a lot better than they did today. Um, and we can get a dub, man. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out, bruh.